Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the recovery of $75,000 in Magic Cards. This happened to Pat's game in Austin, Texas, which is probably one of the pillars of the Texas Magic community. Really great store. I'm actually in Austin right now. Might go down for a visit if I do have time from work. But $75,000 of Magic Cards were stolen from Pat's games by two people. All of this was videotaped, and it was, you know, the videotape is on my channel. So if you want to go in my channel and take a look at it, it's pretty uh, crazy because everything was their faces. And I mean, eventually they would have been caught and ID'd just because the video is getting, it was at one point viral, and a lot of people saw it. And finally, they recovered the collection. Now, the way they went about recovering it was very interesting. They had a SWAT team, and I'll show you a post later. They had a SWAT team recover the collection. And it looks like these two people who stole the collection are going to get anywhere between 2 to 10 years of jail time. The collection is currently owned by the insurance company. So what happens is the insurance company paid Pat's games. And then if the collection is later recovered, it is owned by the insurance company, which generally has no, um, they don't have need magic cards, so they will resell to Pat's Games, which is good because honestly, Pat's Games would rather have magic cards than money. Well, I, I don't know. It's close, but you need the magic cards to build up the community. So in this case, yes, it is important to have those cards, especially given what they are. Just fascinating uh the full SWAT team comes in SWAT e EMS and I can only see like it looks mo normally local police officers and these people don't really take Magic the Gathering all that seriously so if they, you go to the police and say oh someone stole a Magic card or stole Magic card from me they probably laugh you out of the um, police hall but it's nice to see that they went the extra mile they went ahead because this is $75,000 and they took it as face value $75,000 even though it was Magic Cards. So great news for Patch Games, great news for the Texas Magic community, and really good news for everyone else um, except for those two people who are going to be in jail now.